Only five more days until the Big Ten returns, and when we recall how the fall season came to be, there are three schools that led the charge, Iowa, Nebraska, and Ohio State. Two of those schools, Nebraska and Ohio State, will face off in week one. And while the two programs are focused on beating one another this Saturday, the process of getting the fall season back seemed to strengthen their relationship. I don't think it was a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, we're grateful to Ohio State. Um, you know, it, it's strange where you find allies in certain things, and I think we had an ally in Ohio State to try to get the season played. I don't think it would have got done without Dr. Borchers there, without uh, Ryan Day continuing to push it, Gene Smith continuing to push it. Uh, we certainly fought for it, too. We fought because we thought it was the right thing to do, to have football. Um, our kids wanted to play. We thought we could do it in a safe manner. Um, we weren't satisfied with the decision to not play and uh, kept trying to find opportunities to find a way to get it done. And, um, and we're grateful to Ohio State for having done the same thing. It's two teams that I think have wanted to play all along, uh, playing each other in the, in the first game. Uh, we got a ton of respect for them. I said after last season, uh, that was one of the best college football teams that I've been on a field with. Uh, I think they... We're one of the best teams in the country and could have easily won everything last year. Um, that being said, I thought we did a really good job of keeping the game close uh, last year for about five minutes. <laughs> uh, give, give yourself credit, Coach. About six minutes. Frost and Day, well, they may be buddies after this offseason, but all that's going out the window. Five days away, Huskers traveling to Columbus to take on those fifth-ranked Buckeyes. 11 a.m. kick on that one.